As with all good stories and all good lives, there are many ups and downs, and ins and outs and loop-de-loops. I like to begin with some of my greatest ups, my most beloved things, the things that made me a better person. Starting with my beautiful beloved husband, David, who I miss greatly. My mom, who I also miss. Dad, cats, the edge of the sea and sky and sand. My brain, the internet, Taryn, Jeff, Steve, John, Rafi, Chris, and Janine. So many old friends and family, the crockpot community, the potential of a beautiful, evolving, art-centered near future. Capture the wild things and bring them in line. And on what was never your right to confine The lives and loves and the songs are what matters All tend to the flame you can worship the ashes Rocks, trees, museums and libraries. Pascal's Triangle expanded as a way to model anything and everything as a family tree of all possibility. From the universe, to our personal stories, to human society, to triangular geometries, and to types of governmental systems. With contraction and expansion as the two ends of each dimension, and then the pure luck of being able to briefly meet Stephen Wolfram at MIT and show him my idea of using Pascal's Triangle to model all of reality. Whereupon he dove into the idea and is still working excitedly on the core structure of his new kind of physics. But as far as we're concerned, they're just elements and relations. They don't have that, that's, that's what everything is made of, but it isn't really a thing that we can talk about beyond just saying it's these elements and relations. Maslow's hierarchy of needs and my updating of it, which shows both individual brain development stages and shows how human society slash earth is developing. And of course, all the stories of love, loss, dreams, and needs that both I and others share. And then the downs. There were so many downs. My life had a lot of losses, starting primarily with this last loss of my body, of my life, which is leading to me not being able to fulfill my personal dreams of having a community center that serves as a spark for global evolution serving life freely through creativity and curiosity, moving us away from the monetary, competitive, antisocial society we've been stuck in for so long. I won't be able to make this happen or see anyone else make it happen, it seems. But I hope it happens somehow. My honey David's ability to be with me all these years apart is a great, great loss. And my mom, who passed in 2022, is a huge loss. A healthy connection with my dad, where he's honestly happy with who I am, or who I was, and all the awesome stuff I've done with my, my very challenging life circumstances. And some great opportunities, too. Stable housing for so very long. Warmth. Many years. Winters. Nights. My ability to offer many gifts to the world due to my lack of physical and online spaces to do it. Energy due to a not great body, genes, environment to do many of the things I really wanted to do. Regular access to the internet for many years. A safe space to walk and bicycle. Being able to see the stars at night. And respect for my unique ideas, models, research in mainstream science, communities, and schools. But based on those losses and those loves, I've got some dreams. And while 
immediate dream is to have my body shut down as peacefully and painlessly as possible and to have many of my beautiful stories, ideas, models, art, etc. spread out into the universe in whatever way most delights and nourishes individuals, communities, and the planet. Specifically, my versions of Pascal's Triangle being used to help understand any and all systems at any and all levels of why, when, how, where, what's it doing, what's the type, how many, how much, system which has already helped me so incredibly in understanding the relationships between individuals and their systems, and even led to the speaking up process that I'm using right now to help me effectively express my most important story of who I am, what I want to create and or explore, and how others can help me, which includes others speaking up for themselves too, so the world can be deeply informed about how to take good care of itself and serve life freely and longingly. And of course, I dream of my honey, David, finding what he needs to feel joyful and excited about his life and the world around him. He's got so very much compassion and intelligence to offer the future. My needs right now, in order to fulfill these dreams, are to say goodbye and thank you to all who've inspired and or supported me in any way. To give my greatest appreciation and deepest love to my beloved David slash Wackett slash my honey for giving me the love to feel positive about helping the world continue to evolve. And finally, to leave you with as many ba of my best resources, stories, art, craft, philosophy, science, etc. for as long as possible after I'm gone to use freely as it feels meaningful and joyful. My work here on Earth is done. Now it's up to you to follow your dreams and ask for your needs. Namaste. Goodbye. This is my, this is my goodbye. I figured I could film one last little, <laughs> little video in front of the water down in Belfast. One of my very first videos that I made here was just a dozen feet over there. The one about what is life. So I figured I'd come back here. Kind of full circle. I didn't live in Belfast back then, I just visited. But it's a beautiful place. Working waterfront. And a tourist town. But um, yeah, so this is my goodbye. I have a few days left, probably. Um, if you want more information on that, you can probably check out my Reddit. My Reddit username is Turl, T-U-R-I-L, um, and hopefully that stuff will be up for very long after I'm gone. So yeah, my life has been weird. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but there have been some amazing things and some pretty horrible things that have happened to me. I'm glad the universe got to see what it's like to be a human being like me in a world where I don't really fit in, but I have a lot to offer. So I'm glad I was able to share those stories with the world. And I hope that helps the world be more informed. 
Yeah. Um, so thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being curious about other people and other people's perspectives and other stories. Yeah, thank you. And goodbye. Or as they say, so long and thanks for the stories. I didn't have any fish, just stories. Bye.